So welcome to my kitchen here in Donegal and I'm delighted today to do a lovely family favourite dish for you and it is with Atlantic Treasure and their fantastic range of smoked mackerel products. So as we know, landed in Killy Beggs, um, smoked there and it's hand picked, it's just a fantastic product. So I'm going to bring it together with some leeks, pasta and do it like a bake so it's a really really simple easy one to follow but the first thing we got to do is we got to sweat off some leeks so for this I have taken two leeks I've chopped them up and I've washed them in some cold water but we're gonna sweat leeks in some butter because leeks and butter just work I don't know what it is about it but they just seem to work so once you have the butter melted straight in with the leeks and I'm using both the green and the white of the leek because I know some people are tempted to get rid of the green but I personally like it. There's a nice little bit of bitterness to it. Now you don't want to hear too much more noise than that. And that's just going to sweat down. So we don't want to fry that. We don't want too much color in there. So we'll leave that just for a few minutes to sweat. Uh, and I'll put a lid on there just to keep the heat within that. So as they sweat, basically they'll break down and they'll, they'll intensify some of the flavor that's in there as well. And then simply to that, then we're going to season that up with a little bit of pepper, pinch of salt, and to that we're going to add some cream. So just on the mackerel for a moment, um, we're going to use two fillets of mackerel and it comes uh, and it's ready to eat and um, can be enjoyed as it is right now. But for this dish, we're going to pick it off in flakes like that because we're going to add it in with the leeks. So just break it off naturally. And as I say, that is a maple wood smoked. And do not throw this piece out because what I find is this makes a fantastic stock just to even boil that for a few minutes in some milk and use it for a chowder or a fish pie and it's perfect. Now, the pasta that goes into this, I've decided to go with brown pasta. It's just penny pasta. It's lovely and robust, actually perfect for a dish like this. You can, if you wish, just go for some white pasta. So I've cooked that in boiling water just with a pinch of salt for about eight to 10 minutes. And that's it now fully cooked and it's ready to go into the leeks. But just before we do add it to the leeks, what I need to do is check in on the leeks firstly, and then we're going to season them with a bit of pepper. So that's what you're after there. No frying, no color, nice slow sweating releases the flavor. And to that, I'm going to add some white pepper, a good twist of it. it can, leeks can take on pepper quite well. And I also to that, I'm going to add some chopped capers. So about six or so, certainly no more than 10. And they're gonna give a nice natural saltiness to that as well. And then immediately to that, I'm gonna add in some cream. And we're just gonna let that simmer. So when the cream gets added in, it's, it's really giving you a nice sauce and a stock based. So give that a stir and just allow that to simmer for a few minutes. Now there's a nice sort of crust gonna go on the top of this bake and I'm gonna use some fresh parsley for that. And again, we have a light leafy herb. Make sure you're just using it last minute. So we're gonna roughly chop up the parsley and into a bowl because we're gonna mix that up with the breadcrumb and I'm gonna use some lemon zest just on the top of that with some cheese as well. So four very simple basic ingredients. And I'm using the panko breadcrumb, which is a drier type of a breadcrumb. And I'm using a Donegal cheddar cheese straight into that. Just going to mix that up and then straight in with our lemon zest. Look at that, nice and light. Make sure you don't go too far into the lemon. You just want the zest off that and it'll be lovely and fresh. So if you get a look at that now, you'll see that that is a lovely crust for the top of any fish dish that you want to do and finish it with a nice crust. Now you can see that that has sweated, starting to bubble, but we don't want to boil the cream too much. So immediately into that, I'm going to add in the cooked pasta. And we need to stir that in through, just break it up slightly. There we go. And that'll take on the leeks, it'll absorb in the sauce, which is what we're looking for. And the very, very last minute to that, we will be adding the mackerel. And we've broken that up deliberately into nice, sort of fairly good bite-sized chunks. And we're down now to the last couple of stages of this. So just a gentle fold, 
we're going to warm it through slightly and that's what we're looking for and you'll notice I held back a little bit of the parsley as well because we're going to put a small amount in there and we can use the stalks for that just to chop up and give that nice fragrant fresh flavour parsley works really really well where you have a fish and give that one last stir now that has got temperature in there and being careful not to break up my mackerel and we're going to transfer that to a dish then that's suitable just to go under the grill so we're going to use these and just divide that equally out into the three dishes We're going to put the crust top immediately over the top of that and that's going to go under the grill till it just gets nice and golden. Doesn't that look lovely? Lovely and healthy and fresh. So we'll take that straight to the grill. So there you go, as you can see, lovely golden crust on it, still moist in the inside, nice big pieces of the mackerel, pasta, the leeks, that is just lovely. Now I've shared that out amongst three, but you will easily get four nice portions out of that. I've been generous today with that. So that is our very, very simple penny pasta bake with our Atlantic treasure, maple wood smoked mackerel from Kelly Bakes. <laughs>